All right, welcome back. Uh, that we're, AI there? Yeah, no, they're not doing so hard. Stop. <laughs> back up. Stop. <laughs> so, no, they ain't doing so hard. Did we have to win this one or just race it? Probably win it. Oh, I'll be winning, all right. Beat. Oh, God, that's a small time limit. All right. That's fine. I don't need to win. I just need to beat the time. Beat the targets! Oh, I'll beat the targets, all right. Beat them off? Oh, hell yeah. yeah. That's, that's a crash. crash. That's a crash. Welcome to the fucking... This is going to be the entire future of this Let's Play. That's, that's a, a crash. crash. <laughs> Until we forget about it next week. No, I will never forget about it. <laughs> because it happens every episode. <laughs> so there's a little red exclamation point in the top right corner? Or yeah. top left? Does yeah. that mean they have server issues? Yeah, no, it's it, it's like, I have a message, but they're all messages I've already seen and heard. Ah. So, like, it's, it's dumb. just dumb. Yeah, it does not work properly. Because if they call you back for any reason, like, and message. you don't answer, it's a new message. But, like, it literally doesn't matter if you answer it or not. <laughs> Gotta love that. And most of the time, they're just recycling this dialogue because you haven't done their thing in a while. So, like, hey, don't forget about my thing. And it's like, no, I won't. Don't worry, inanimate, non-human person. <laughs> it's like having real friends, Chris. Yeah, annoying. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why people don't reach out to you. <laughs> Whatever, man. That's not my fault they're annoying. <laughs> uh, and the, uh... And the words of my... Oh my god, I will fucking kill your family. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense, Chris. Um, and the words of... And the words of my sister while I was talking to one of my friends uh, a, for a long time, text messaging back and forth. Jesus Christ, Chris, he's like your girlfriend. He texts you more often than she would. <laughs> it's not Trevor. No, oh god. No, no, Trevor... Trevor contacts me pretty regularly, but we don't really, like, back and forth for long periods of time. Fucking, uh, Caleb and me back and ah. forth for a long time. <laughs> He's, like, in a relationship, right? Uh, he was. Oh, he He's was. not anymore. Now he is um, your boyfriend? <laughs> yeah, now he is my boyfriend. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like him and Zach get along better, honestly, but Zach's always the one who's like, I'm not gay. Out of my, my four, out of the four of us, which ended up being, like, the main click in college, right? The four of us? The four of you guys hit off. He's the only one that's always like, I am not gay. The, uh, all three of us are just like, I don't know, I might be. You can find out. <laughs> He's the only one that's like, no, absolutely not, no. So, <laughs> I love, I love the people who are, like, like that. Because I have a couple friends like that, that it was like, yeah. the more you deny it, you know, the more I'm going to make fun of it, right? Yeah, <laughs> As someone who is perfectly comfortable with my sexuality, <laughs> people who are not, I am totally going to make fun of you for. And the, uh, as uh, Cameron, uh, no, uh, as Caleb put it one time, which was really funny, uh, the, the actual backstory to it is kind of long-winded, but the joke is still funny regardless, which is just... And we're all screwed because you're Christian Easley, and we're all screwed because it's you're it's you're we're all screwed because you're an atheist. You're an atheist. I don't know what the fuck you are, but it's definitely not straight when he points to me, and I'm like, <laughs> like yes, yeah. the funniest shit ever. It is very true. <laughs> it's just I don't know what the fuck you are, but it definitely ain't straight. <laughs> Yeah, it's true. It still cracks me up to this day. Because uh, it's funny because, one, it's absolutely hysterical in or out of context. And two, it, is he's, he's, to it, it really fits pretty well. <laughs> so it fits really well. That's crash. Oh, that was definitely a crash. <laughs> That's a crash. That was definitely a crash. <laughs> and now I'm in third place. Don't matter. Dude, how much longer is this race? Uh, 30 seconds-ish. Okay, okay. You well, I wait. mean, like, how many more? Uh, six checkpoints more checkpoints. Right? Jesus Christ. All right, God. I you might have had too many crashes. I only crashed once. No, you've crashed, like, four times in this race. Did I? At I the beginning. I crashed like that many times. Ah, oh, fuck me. All right. I nah, you could have you got away from that. I blame Derek for that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. Oh, my God, I'm not going to get it. Yeah. God damn it. All right, we do it again. We do it again, boys. We do it again. 
boy. <laughs> we do what they say in the fighting game competitive scene. We run it back. <laughs> oh. Dual Shark disconnected. Oh, oh that's your controller. Oh, that's, that's that the one. player two controller. All right. Dick, <laughs> Dick and you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, best, children. best user name. I love. Okay. So for people who are unaware, Derek <laughs> made that because you have to make an, another account for some reason to use a second player controller on the PlayStation because four only PlayStation stupid. four yeah, uh, which is stupid by the way. But uh, so Derek's like, all right, and Derek just names <laughs> it that. Dick and you, <laughs> which is hilarious, which is very funny. But like ever since then, oh my every gosh, now and again, there. yeah, every now and again we go to play something multiplayer on the PlayStation. He's like, you sure you want that to show up on the thing? And I'm like, dude, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I think it's hysterical. <laughs> yeah, I think it is too, but it's just like, eh, somebody might find that offensive. Then again, why should we care anymore? I, I mean, I don't give a shit what anyone thinks. That's true. <laughs> like, ever. That is very true. <laughs> That's why you wouldn't work in certain types of work environments. Yeah. Uh, I do what I need to, man. I like to live on the edge. Be my own boss. <laughs> you know, kidnap the people who need to be kidnapped and feed them to the fishes. You know, the kind of shit that you just need to do. <laughs> you should be very good in the mob, Chris. Oh, I would have been a... There was... There, there was a... Um, there was, like, a, a running gag between uh, me and a family member that, like, if I was born into any other situation, I would have been a fucking mob boss drug dealer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah, well... <laughs> probably right. <laughs> Like, in fairness, I play the part very well when I'm joking about it. <laughs> yeah, joking about it. <laughs> yeah, you know. If you uh, if you ended up more in this growing up more into the cities than in the suburbs. Oh my god, that one's the crash though. You uh, yeah. you would have you would have probably been in charge of a gang at this point. <laughs> Head ringleader of a gang. See, I wouldn't even be in a gang. I literally would be running my own gang because I'd be like, it's not pro nearly profitable enough for me to be in a gang. This is the kind of person I am. <laughs> yeah. Um, because because people were just like, oh, right, right, if you were a drug dealer, how would you do it? I was like, I would have, I'm like, no one would know me. I'm like, two people would know me. And they wouldn't know where I live. But they would be the people that get in contract with the drug dealers. That way I would literally never be caught. Yep. Because they literally wouldn't know who I actually was. Yeah. It would be a chain of like three or four levels to get to me. They would only be extremely trusted people who've earned it. They can even get to the point where they can see me. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how you're supposed to do it. Yeah, because the more you people know you, the more not a crash, baby. All I right, I don't understand it. Yeah, <laughs> the more people who know you with that type of stuff, the more no, uh, the more at risk you are. The more at risk you are. Yeah, like you don't want anyone to know who you are. Even the people that you're fucking directly employing shouldn't know who you are if you want to be a kingpin. Yeah, no, I can talk. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you want to be a kingpin, that one's a crash. Like, you need to make sure people don't know who the fuck you are, like, period. Uh, it's the only way. Okay, Nico san, I'm glad you crashed too. <laughs> oh, it's real big? Is he talking about it? It's real big. <laughs> it's the real deal, man. It's real big. I think if I do his, I finish uh, the, uh, the Ken block, or the Hulahan guys stuff. And you'll get their car? Yeah. No, sponsored by Monster? Car. Sponsored by Monster. No, really. Sponsored <laughs> by Monster. <laughs> oh, God. That's fine. I didn't... I wasn't worried at all. I knew I was fine. <laughs> Here, let me boost because I feel like I'm going too slow. <laughs> going fast, speed of sound. Sonic the Hedge car. <laughs> Fuck! That's <crap. laughs> Oh, I feel like you're going fast, but you honestly don't feel like you're going fast enough. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Something's not right. It's the lag in the system, that's what it is. It might be. <laughs> it might be. You never underestimate the power of a server. That's run by that's EA. That's run by EA and underfunded. Come on, God Angel, get out of your way. Come on, man, the fuck. God, these people, they're so pushy. They just want to go slow and have a chill fucking thing while well, I'm trying to beat the clock on the highway. <laughs> uh, 
Nah, uh, alright, well. That's fine. Alright, we'll just... <laughs> I'm just gonna end it. And, uh... We'll try the other guy. Dude, move fast, speed of sound. Sonic the Hedgehog. Hedgehog. <laughs> Sonic Heroes. Oh, wait, that's the game everybody hates. But it's like... Heroes? No. Heroes gets a pass. No one fucking gives a shit about Heroes. The one that everyone hates now that's trendy, even though it's not a bad game, is the adventure games now. Everyone hates Adventure 1 and 2. They're terrible. Worst games ever made, according to the YouTubers. <laughs> Even though everyone liked them when they came out, and now a bunch of other YouTubers are coming in and being like, these are good, the fuck is wrong with you people? Okay, <laughs> I think I watched one of those reacting of the, this is a good game, yeah. and this is why it's a masterpiece. Yeah, see, no, there's literally, okay. Sonic games are the single most fucking polarizing franchise in the history of the internet. Yeah. Because it's literally two fucking tribes of people who are both bullshit that will tell you they're either the greatest games ever made or the worst, like, viruses in the gaming industry. And they're both full of it. <laughs> and here's what I found out recently that you'll probably appreciate. Yeah. So, the one everybody always knows about is Sonic Adventure 2 and yeah. Sonic Adventure 1. And everybody's yeah. just like, you know, they're such bad games, they... They look really bad and blah blah blah. Yeah, that's because they're playing the yeah, game. That's a crash, by the way. They're playing the Anyways. GameCube ports. Yeah, which are shit, by the way. And the Dreamcast ports were amazing. The Dreamcast ports were the better ports. Um, and we'll never ports. get well, them. I mean, were the they were the original game. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll never get them, Derek. Unless you're me and own a Dreamcast. Yep. And own it anyways. Oh. <laughs> so when are we playing it? <laughs> uh, I don't own either of the adventure games for the Dreamcast. Oh, you suck. I know. I really should pick them up, you but they, the up. Dreamcast games keep getting more and more expensive. So well, I pick them up now before it. they get too expensive. <laughs> Shut up. But they're also not easy to find, actually. Okay. Okay. Uh, adventure 1's not too hard to find, but 2 is actually really fucking hard to find for the Dreamcast because it was literally one of the last games printed for the console before they started being like, well, we're out of money. <laughs> I I enjoy those games. And for different reasons. You know, <coughs> Sonic 1, it, or Sonic Adventure 1 was completely different than Sonic Adventure 2. Yeah. In the style of, like, presentation. Not presentation, that's not the right word, but, like... Mm -hmm. um, because Sonic Adventure 1, you're just you're Sonic, you know, you go into the overworld and all this junk. Yeah. And in Sonic Adventure 2, it's more of an episodic mission-based thing. Yeah. Where they can kind of tell a more... Um, they just remove the open world. A more, I, I think, narrative story is the right word, I want to say. Uh, I mean, they both had narrative stories. It's just one had an episodic open world. Story, and one didn't. Episodic story. Episodic okay. story, I think I uh, phrase it. I'll Instead of a long that. running thing. Well, yeah, because you play as multiple characters. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, so, I, I got you. That's that's what I like, yeah, that's pretty cool. I, uh... I, I didn't watch every bit of it, but I watched somebody talking about a one and a half hour video of a guy talking about how I, why you like two. I didn't watch the whole thing. I don't blame you. <laughs> I went, oh, I'll watch a little of this. Um, so... My whole thing, right, is like... It's the worst game ever made, well, no one ever... <laughs> well, because me and... It, it's funny, because me and... Uh, Caleb have just positions on Sonic games, and apparently, it's mainly because of YouTube. Because me and him have the exact same opinion of Sonic games, which is they're okay. Yeah. They're not like amazing masterpieces or anything, but they're fun. There's you nothing like, wrong with you it. You like Sonic as a character too. Um, yeah, to I mean the char It's not so much the character is the. I like the gameplay of the older, older ones. Sonic games. I mean the newer ones are also fine, but they're not as cool. It depends, well, it depends on which modern which aspect, Sonic you're okay. talking about, which right? Which aspect of it you want? Yeah, like, personally, I like the boost Sonic games more than I like the adventure games. I like the ability to go, like, super fucking fast through a level and just, like, plow through things and beat it as fast as possible, like, speedrunner style. Which yeah. is what the original 2D games were built on, too. They were built on the concept of how, be, trying to beat a level as fast as possible speedrunner style. That's what I like about Sonic. Adventure took the other aspect of the original games, which is the more explorative, find everything, get the Chaos Emeralds, blah 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 kind of eat way food. of doing it. Um, yeah, eat food. So the subway, it's eat food. Um, but I am, uh, I'm not really a fan of the exploring one. I don't know why I'm following this fucking line. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's just making it worse. But you've got, you got to the points. Yeah, I know. It's it's fine. Um, so yeah, like 
the thing is that Sonic One, uh, Sonic One was built off of two philosophies: speed running to beat as fast as possible, but also exploration to find all the things. Yeah, they're literally counterintuitive to each other. They are. The and franchise is literally built on being counterintuitive to what it wants to do. Yeah, which is where all of its problems come from. But that's why no one is happy with Sonic games because. Some people wanted an exploring slower pace game. Other people wanted it as fast as possible, and no one can fucking agree on which is the better way to go. Yeah, and it's not like Sonic can <laughs> release two games that are pretty much identical, except for a couple of different Pokemon. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> nice. Um, I need to appreciate that joke. <laughs> but fucking, uh, you see, uh, but what it is, what I do find funny is that me and Caleb have juxtapositions, but we have the same exact opinion, which is that they're fun. Like, they're perfectly fine. They are adequate games. Yeah, they're, they're perfectly fine, fun to play, uh, you know, whatever excitement kind of games you want to play, right? Yeah. Um, but the thing is, is that Caleb talks nothing but shit, and I talk nothing but praise, and the reason is because we exist on two separate versions of YouTube. Apparently, I exist on the side of YouTube where everyone talks shit about Sonic regardless if the game is good or bad. Mm -hmm. It's just always bad. And he lives on the side of YouTube where no matter what happens, every Sonic game is a masterpiece. So we literally have the same opinion on the game, but we have juxtapositions because we're used to people having the opposite opinions. Yeah. It's so weird. <laughs> I, I don't get it, man. YouTube and its algorithms yeah. are so bizarre. Yeah, and you figure the algorithm would have, like, fixed that by now, where it would give me only games praising Sonic and give him only videos, like, hating on Sonic, but it never does. It just stay the same forever. And, and what's also weird is YouTube seems to think me and you are almost the same person. That's because, oh, I mean, yes. Yes, it fucking does. Because it recommends videos that I watch to you, like, a week later, and videos you watch to me, like, a week later. Yeah, pretty much. Dude, I can't tell you how many times... Oh, come on. I can't tell you... You know what? That's just... Let's this just is not going let's well. Let's just try it yeah, again. This is just not going well. Yeah, let's just try this again. All right, there we go. I'm like, Jesus Christ, can my start button work? Nope. Right. No, I um, can't. Yeah, fucking... Uh, yeah, though, it, it is funny the amount of times where I'll send you something, or you'll send me something, and it's like, yeah, I already saw it. <laughs> yeah, I watched this last it's week. Like, yeah, I literally watched this, like, two... Sometimes it's not even that long. Sometimes it's like, yeah, dude, you, like, just missed me. I, I watched this, like... Three hours ago. <laughs> that three-hour video I sent you with the, with the guy interviewing the, um... Oh, yeah, the special, uh, the CSI guy? guy? No, yeah. CSI, um... Yeah, it was, uh... Why am I blanking on the uh, acronym? FBI... No, or CIA? Was it CIA? CIA, yep. Yeah. Dude, dude um, what is with these fucking turns? Even the AI can't do these. <laughs> like, alright, yeah. <laughs> fucking slam into the wall <laughs> there. The fuck. But, yeah, um... I watched that, and I was just like, I don't know if Chris has seen this yet. No, YouTube, probably. <laughs> but I'll send it to him anyway. No, surprisingly enough, I had not seen it yet. Yeah, but that was like, a really cool interview. It was. Oh, uh, but... Uh, YouTube really thinks we're the same person, though. They sure do, man. It's like, they really, really do. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be a rough one. I can just... I can feel it in my bones. <laughs> I can't fucking turn. Also, I just want to appreciate how you just smacked every single one of those supporting oh. beams, yeah. so the wall would definitely collapse. Well, those are just uh, those are just for bracing, Derek. They're not real wall. What the fuck am I doing? What are these turns? They're all sharp drift turns because we're doing the stupid hula hand guys, and that's all they do. Take sharp turns. It's what they're known for. They're just, just sharp turns. They do sharp turns, and that's it. They don't do anything else. Just sharp turns. Someone sounds, sounds a little jealous that they can't take as many sharp turns as they can. Just, all they do is sharp turns, baby. And that's just how you gotta live your life, is more sharp turns. This is impossible. How the fuck am I meant to do this? See that? That was a sharp turn. That's who the would be proud. They're not happy. But they would be proud. Oh, dude, Your car picks up speed going off of ramps. I know. Well, of course it does, Derek. It's airbound and it's heavy. So, you know, gravity is just <laughs> extra powerful. Okay. I know we already lost this, but I really I just want to know it. what the fucking route is. <laughs> 
So you really just wanted to get an idea of what the fucking route was. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you, I don't think if you, cr- if you cr- don't crash that one or two times you did, I think you'll be able to do it. I don't know, man. What was my time? Like, way the fuck off? 2.13, and it was 2.03 is what you needed. Uh, all right. Ten seconds? I think you can cut ten seconds. Yeah, all right, all right. Just all cut right. off that little chaff, Chris, you know? I mean, I, I'll cut whatever I want off. I'm hardcore like that. But, uh... <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. In the, in the words of my favorite, uh, not stupid at all, WWE storyline, me choppy choppy you pee pee. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get you and my buddy Andrew next to each other so you can make these dumbass wrestling jokes to each other all the time. Because he watches that stuff. I think probably as much as you did. I mean, he probably watched more than me. He seemed really invested in it. More than I was. Andrew was pretty into it. I was like, oh, cool. I'm glad I won't get these type of these wrestling comments and jokes <laughs> from you and from him. <laughs> We should play some more wrestling games. I got a few that we could actually play through. Agreed. I was like, I'm still kind of like hesitant on it because the last one we played didn't get, didn't do so well. But there is an argument that if you just play a lot of them, eventually the wrestling fans will find you. <laughs> True. So, maybe. Dude, the fact that the AI can't handle this fucking track, literally... T- what the fuck? Literally tells me all I need to know about this fucking track, man. We in the air, baby. We boosting, baby. We sharp turning, baby. <laughs> you didn't hit the jump. Why didn't you hit the jump? Because it's a every jump in this game is a death trap. <laughs> Should have hit the jump, dude. This is so shit. These servers are so shit. Your family is. Sh- Shit. <laughs> oh, hey, Ken Block. What's up? <laughs> there he is, the guy I keep mentioning. For some reason, thinking he's Hulahan. Is the title is Ken Block, and it's not a Hulahan. <laughs> I'll be out of here in no time. Okay. It's a Squidward quote. Ah, uh, okay. It's relatable to me right now. <laughs> So I'll be out of here in no time. As he gets unfrozen. In the future. The year 19 enough to 11 d 12. What? Why is everything chrome? Everything is chrome in the future! Impossible! He's lying! He's right! And then that cost you the race? It might have. Yep. It cost you the race. Mother. It's fine. It's fine. All that tells me is that we're doing it again, and I'm quoting more SpongeBob. That's it. We might have to do that though next. <laughs> oh my fucking god, this game is great, and I love it. Oh. All right. Well, we'll see you guys in the next part. We'll see you guys then. Peace.